Hi everyone. Today we are going to solve Primary Mathematics Book 4A from page number 68 to 74, Chapter 3, Fraction. Assalamualaikum everyone. Today we are going to solve page number 68, Book 4A, Chapter Fraction. So let's start. Number 2 question number is... So let's start question 2. Write each improper fraction as a mixed number. Show your working clearly. <clears throat> so here we have, you can see 1, 1 upon 3, 1, 2. Then again 1, 2. How we have got this? Here we have 8 and it is equal to 6 upon 3 plus 2 upon 3. From where we get 6 upon 3? We have to find out that how many 3 we can get from this 8. <coughs> we can get 2 3's. 1, 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6 and remaining is 2. So two, 6 plus 2 is 8. So we just break the number into 2, 3, 1, 2 and the remaining is 2. So we have 1, 2, 2 whole number and the remaining is 2 upon 3. So 2 whole plus 2 upon 3. Now we just have to write this as a mixed number. We remove this plus and we write 2, 2 upon 3. Same as it is we have 10 upon 4. Here you can see 10 upon 4. We are going to write this 10 upon 4 as a mixed number. So we are going to take how many 4 we can take from this 10. 4, 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8. We have only 2 numbers because we have 10. So 2 upon 4. Now this is whole and this is also whole. So 2 plus 2 upon 4. So 2 plus 2 upon 4. So we are going to write this as a mixed number 2, 2 upon 4. Page number 69. Here we have change the improper fraction to mixed number. Show your working clearly. Express each answer in its simplest form. Same as it is, we have to take 3 from the 7. How many 3 we can take from the 7? 3 plus 3, 3 plus 3, 6 and 1, 7. So we can take only 2 3's. So this is a 1 whole and this is 1 whole plus 1 upon 3. So 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1 upon 3. So we can write 2, 1 upon 2. Same as it is, we have 9. So how many 5 we can take from the 9? We can take only one 5 because 5 and 4 becomes 9. So 5 and 5, 1 whole and 4 upon 5. So 1, 4 upon 5. Now again we have 11. How many 7 we can take from the 11? We can take only one 7 from the 11 and the remaining numbers are 4 upon 7. So 1 whole upon 4 upon 7, 1, 4 upon 7. Now 14, 14 upon 7. How many 4 we can take from the 14? 4, 4, 4. 4 plus 4, 8. 8 plus 4, 12. 12 and we cannot take more because we have only 14. So 12 plus 2 is 14. So we have take 1, 2, 3. 3 holes and 2 upon 4. So 1, 2, 3 add the numbers and 2 upon 4. Now we have to write this as a mixed number. Now we have to convert this in a simple form. 2 and 4 are the multiples of 2. 3, 2 ones are 2, 2 is a 4. So this is the simple form. Again we have 22 upon 10. So we are going to take 10 from the 22. We can take 10, 20. We can take only 2 tens because it is 22. So 2 here, 2 upon 10. 1 whole, 1 whole, 2 upon 10. 1 plus 1, 2 and 2 upon 10. 2 and 10 are the multiple of 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 fives are 10. So this is the next number and this is its simplest form. Page number 70. On page number 70 we have changed the mixed numbers to improper fraction. Show your working clearly. So again we have to break this into how many 7s we can take. So first we are going to make the simple fraction from this 4 
6 upon 7. So first we are going to subtract uh, multiply these two numbers. 4 multiplied by 7 is 28. 28 plus 6 is 34. 34 upon 7 is the answer. We can simply done this. And 34 upon 7 is how many 7's we can take from this 34? 7, 7, 7, 7 and 6 upon 7. We can do the simple of this. It is not needed to solve like this. We just simply do this. Same as it is we have to do 6, 3 and 2. So the multiple of 6 and 3 is. First we are going to multiply 6. Multiply by 3 is 18. 18 plus 2 is 20. So we have 20 upon 3. Again we have to solve this. 6 5 is 6 5 is 30. 30 plus 5 is 35. So 35 upon 6. 5 7 is 35. 35 plus 2 is 37. 6 8 is 48. 48 plus 3 is 51. So this is the simple method. We don't need to solve this. We just simply have to solve the mixed number into improper fraction with the simple method of multiplication and addition page number 71 now here we have to find out comparing and ordering fraction so which is a smaller to find out that which is a smaller first we have to make the denominator same we have to make the 4 8 so to make 4 8 we simply multiply this 4 with 2 and this 3 with 2 3 2 is a 6 4 2 is a 8 5 upon 8. Now we are going to find which one is smaller and which one is greater. 5 upon 8 is smaller than 3 upon 4. Same as it is 2 and 5. We are going to make this 5, 10. 5, 2 is a 10 and 2, 2 is a 4. 4, 10, 3, 10. <coughs> now we have to check which one is smaller. 3 upon 10 is smaller than 2 upon 5. Now we have to check the greater. First we have to make the denominator same. We have to make this 3, 12. So we have to write 3, 4, because 3, 4 is a 12. 2, 4 is a 8. 3, 4 is a 12. 7 and 12. Now we have to find which one is greater. 8 upon 12, it means 2 upon 3 is greater than 7 upon 12. Again, now we cannot make 4, 6 and 6, 4. So we are going to take the number which is common in both the tables. So 12 is common in both the numbers. 3, 3, 2, 2. 3, 3 is a 9. 4, 3 is a 12. 5, 2 is a 10. 6, 2 is a 12. So 12 and 12 same. Now we have to find which one is greater. 10 upon 12. It means 5 upon 6 is greater than 3 upon 4. Same as it is, first we have to make the denominator same and solve the numbers. Page number 72. On page number 72, we have, on page number 72, we have identified the, identify the greater mixed numbers in each pair. Show your working clearly. Again, we have to make the denominator same. We can see the whole numbers are same. So we are going to make the denominator same. So we same this 4 with 12. 4 3 is a and 3 3. 3 3 is a 9 and 4 3 is a 12. So 9 upon 12 and 7 upon 12. Which one is greater? 9 upon 12. So 2 9 upon 12 is greater than 2 7 upon 12. Same as it is we have to make the denominator same. We have to make 2. 6 and 3, 2 because 6 is the multiple of both the numbers. So 2, 2 is a 4, 3, 2 is a 6, 1, 3 is a 3, 2, 3 is a 6. Now 6 upon 4 and 3 upon 6, 6 and 6, both the numbers are same. So 3, 2 upon 3 is greater than 3, 1 upon 2. Same as it is, again we have to make the denominator same and find out that which one is smaller. Here we have to make this 15 and 15. 
here we have to make this 12 and 12 or 24 24 because both the numbers are common in both tables move on to next page page number 73 page number 73 again we have to make the denominator same and then solve the answer we have to make this 3 and 2 same so we are we have 6 the common multiple in both the tables 2 and 5 so we have the common multiple 10 in both the tables 10 and 5 so we have to make the denominator same 6 and 4 denominator should be same we simply have to make the denominator same and solve the answer page number 74 same method should be used here we have to make the denominator same 2 and 2 is already same 4 so we have to make this 2 and 2 4 so to make this 2 and 2 4 we are going to multiply this with 2 2 2 and 2 so the denominator will same and when the denominator becomes same as you can see 10 upon 4 6 upon 4 7 upon 4 then we are going to compare and write the answer here we have 10 and 10 to make this 5 10 we are going to multiply this 5 with 2 so the denominator should be same we are going to write the answer again we have to make the denominator same and write the answer 